And hey everyone, today is February the 23rd, and I'm sort of in my roughly monthly update for you. I hope you guys are doing okay as the world makes its ever slow creep <clears throat> into the ins into the upcoming insanity. I kind of expected it to be a bit quicker, but it's going in a very incrementally slow pattern, but it is moving forward, unfortunately, and I hope you guys are doing okay. And you're getting yourself more mentally prepared for how things will play out as the year continues. Uh, I wanted to let you know that I put up another, there have been posts going up roughly, as I said, every week on my blog site. And the new one is on um, something on the World Fairs that I've been talking about for a few months. And I finally got it posted today. And it's um, it's 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 a theory, but it's a theory I've been running for a while. The possibility that many of the photographs that we have of the World Fairs might be of models or dioramas, and as strange as that may seem on the surface, um, I bumped into a lot of evidence of how other dioramas and models have been particularly and recently have been photographed, and what those photographs look like. And how similar a lot of those photographs look to many of the World Fair photographs. So I've put that up uh, today. There's a link below. There's other other things I've recently had on there for those of you to take a look at. And on my Locals channel, we've been really busy over the last month. Particularly a lot of discussions of what in Eastern traditions would be called emptiness and no self. And we've I've, I've gone back, things I haven't talked about for a number of years, but I thought it's it's important to go back and discuss that subject and bring that up because it is it is part of the pathway of exiting the matrix. You have to know not only what the matrix is, you have to know what you are. And uh, self-definition is usually not at the top of everyone's work list. So that's over on my Locals channel. That link is below as well. So yeah, it'd be great to see what you guys think. And I, I, like I say, I hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, slowly coming to spring and i don't know what you but at least from the standpoint of that i can hardly wait and move ahead with getting the crops going and planting and looking ahead for like i say what i think will be one way or another much more challenging than last year was there's so many uh, so many plates that are spinning right now worldwide on so many different fronts I don't know how they can, how they're going to be able to keep them all spinning without one or two of them all of a sudden finally dropping. And all it takes is one drop and the others might go too. So, uh, but that doesn't mean to be concerned or frightened or it just means to be centered, clear, focused on the intent that is most important to you and um, work on staying sane. Right? That's what more can you do, really? The rest of the rest of everything that happens beyond that is a bonus. Reduce your suffering, reduce the suffering of others, stay sane, stay balanced, stay, you know, energetically healthy, stay mentally healthy, and be prepared that surprising events may start to happen and then don't let them surprise you. Keep the sanity, keep the centeredness. Keep the focus on reducing your suffering, the suffering of others and animals and nature and plants. And um, if it's to reach the total knowing and ultimate freedom, then I hope you're doing the exercises and the work you need to do to complete that as well. So blog posts for those of you who want to check that out, local channel for those who want to check that out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in about a month with a new update. Cheers.